<laughs> Trinity even was like, Laura, why would you do that? I mean, uh, who who among us could say no to you know an ancient dagger? Yeah. You know, she she there. has the best intentions. Hey everybody, welcome back to PlayStation Underground. You got Kristen and Zach here, and we are diving around literally in Shadow of the Tomb Raider yes, out September fourteenth. Um, so I was so so excited to play this game because this is the first time in a long time that. Lara has been able to swim in a Tomb Raider game. I remember in the classics, it was always a huge deal, her diving into a tomb, going around. But look at this, look at this underwater traversal right now. Yeah, this looks awesome. Uh, we saw, uh, so this was your second time playing the second game, time, right? Second time, yes. So um, I, I got to play a good stretch of it, about three-ish hours, I would say, this time. Okay. Um, get a little bit into the game, and Lara is definitely a tomb raider at this point like she <laughs> she knows what she's doing she is surviving and she's just like a predator uh hunting down trinity right now trying to to continue to save the world gotcha um, so in the uh the last time we saw this game um there were some uh some terrible incidents <laughs> that had happened right with yes. uh lara perhaps inadvertently triggering the apocalypse yes right? so lara has been sort of on the hunt for this organization trinity by actually taking that artifact before trinity she inadvertently started a maya apocalypse oops <laughs> whoops indeed uh trinity even was like lara why would you do that I mean, uh, who who among us could say no to you know an ancient dagger? Yeah. You know, she she there. has the best intentions. Um, so now she she's tr trying to get ahead of them again. She's following a series of clues uh, to continue to to stop the the series of events, all these cataclysms, um, and she's trying to get there before Trinity does. Gotcha. Because if they get this second artifact before her, they will be able to finish their plan. Um, okay. Oh, this is a. This is a great, cool sequence. Um, yeah, so this, so this looks great. We so uh, last time we saw it, it was just like in in a tomb, and you know, it yeah. looked very spooky and tomby. But this is the first of the jungle that we're seeing. Right? Yeah, well these are the jungles of Peru, and as you can see, Lara is using everything to her advantage. She she can climb trees, she can swing from vines. Right, we just saw this uh, this rope takedown called the Eagle's Talon. Uh, there's a full set of skills that you can start to build out where she's using the environment to right. her advantage. Um, and as you can see, it's to chilling effects. <laughs> These guys are like, who is there? Yeah. God, it looks amazing. What are they oh. so afraid of? They're afraid of you, Lara. <laughs> but yeah, she she definitely has grown a lot throughout the series. You know, in, in this sort of rebooted trilogy, you know, she started out as this unsuspecting college, you know, graduate. She didn't really know much about this side of the world. Uh, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, she was just starting to learn how to survive. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> Laura does not know what that is. Okay. Neither does Trinity. Good. So yeah, per Peru has a lot of mysteries, has a lot of uh, a lot of different creatures in the jungle, a lot mm -hmm. of different people that she might interact with. Uh, so she's not she's not just ha trying to hunt down Trinity. She's also just trying to survive right. nature, survive potentially the locals. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone's happy Attention, that she's in Peru. Dr. Dominguez. Camp set up near abandoned oil factory outside a village. Of course, you're finding artifacts so, uh -huh. right, throughout this. Okay. I was going to say, there <laughs> there was a lot of time that I spent literally just combing every corner, which, you know, th this game is so great for that. They have all of the hidden tombs. Right. They have the challenge tombs, which I especially love. They have the extra puzzles that are beyond just the main storyline. Um, but then we have these great combat sequences of just, like, trying to be stealthy as possible. Right. Um, using her survival instincts. So that's what's happening when you see them end up ending up getting highlighted. You can see the red enemies. People can see them if you take them down. The yellow ones... Uh, are out of their field of vision, so you sort of want to take your time. Oh, wait I it see. Out. So if if I took down the red guy, someone else it would, would alert see that. everybody I exactly. See, I see. But nobody notices this. <laughs> right, and th that's just based on kind of their enemy's vision cones. Yes. I would presume. Just okay, cool. Um, yeah, and th this is cool. This this reminds me of something we were talking about just before we started uh, taking a look at this footage here that you captured. Um, is that there's a lot of customization options for yes. kind of how so assisted the player is, right? Yeah. So for for I believe the first time in this series, um, I had never really seen this level of customization before you can change your difficulty settings for different aspects of the game so mm. it's not just set to an easy normal hard um, for the overall game you can set it to that you want your combat to be hard your combat oh. to be super <laughs> oh Mist not a silencer mistakes were made <laughs> uh -oh. i think what happened actually is oh that no. he had heavier Ooh. armor so the shot hit his helmet so you also have to 
take into account what level of armor people have and like what will affect Fascinating. them. Fascinating. So yeah, so you can uh, you can change the puzzles, traversal, and combat to be different differing levels of difficulty. So if you're super super into the puzzles, you don't want any help, any hints. You can set that to hard. Um, but maybe if you're not as good as exploring and you kind of need to know specifically where to go, you could mm. set that to easy. Um, it, it definitely sort of opens up a level of how how intense do you want to play? What type of adventure do you want Lara to be? Um, and yeah, it, it really can make the experience very unique. Just huh, fascinating. It's a really cool approach. Oh, so um, yeah. Obviously, there you know everyone likes different parts of games, right? And yeah. a game like Tomb Raider is combining all these different elements. Um, so that's a really smart approach. See that you are uh, taking them down again. <laughs> <laughs> following in your footsteps. I was like, let's let's try this one again. <laughs> so is that do you, do you try like o obviously stealth is approach is mm -hmm. supported here uh, and throughout the Tomb Raider games, um, but you I mean could, you could totally go in guns blazing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, so what's happening here oh. is uh, you know, for the jungle you can cover yourself in mud. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, so that's what Laura just did. She found a pool of mud. She just covered herself in it. It's now going to help her be a little bit harder to see. Huh. Um, so if, if she were to jump in front of that guy, he it might take him a little bit longer to notice her there. Oh, wow. That is really cool. It reminds me perhaps of uh, some classic PS3 games involving hmm. uh, eating snakes. <laughs> um, what are these things? God, back in the... Wow, look at that. Oh, I, I loved awesome. this rope mechanic. <laughs> I can see. I was like, let me climb into every tree to take these guys down. It's a very, like, showy, like, it it, it, it reveals a very confident side of Lara. You know, these involves. And I mean, that's that's what she is at this point. She yeah. She's not afraid of Trinity. She knows what she has to do. Um, so she knows that she has to get there before they do, or literally people will die. Right. Um, so this is another moment of these guys are heavily armored. How am I going to do this? They can all see each other. Perhaps that bottle. Perhaps these bottles are helpful. Of assistance. It's almost over. <laughs> but of course, you don't you don't have to be stealthy if you don't want to. Right, right. But that that's definitely how I played these games. I, I try and use the bow and arrow like as much as possible. Oop. Yeah. Nice. God. And, oh, uh, and they found me. Uh oh. Nice. Run, 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 run. run. <laughs> Uh, so you also, you know, of course, oh yeah, you can that? you can heal yourself, but okay. there is another uh, perception meter that you can set for yourself that by taking in certain herbs or eating certain berries, it will open up your perception to your predators. Huh. Um, so I didn't use it, I ended up using it here, but um, when you're hunting animals, if you're fighting animals, if you just eat some of that really quick, it can sort of heighten your, your senses and okay. you'll be a little bit more aware of what is stalking you. Gotcha. Right. H hunting and, and kind of crafting upgrades, of yeah. course, a big part of the previous games would presume that's also in here. Exactly. Since we're e we are in the jungle. Um, so you, we're, we're just seeing kind of a, a brief selection of uh, everything that you played, but you, you played the game for like four hours, right? I did, yeah. And Lara definitely is going on a journey. She, you know, she's with her friend Jonah. This is a different section of the game. We're going to see a short little cinematic here uh, of one of the other predators that Lara will end up running into. Mm. Um, but you know. Lara's with her friend Jonah. You know they're both working to stop Trinity. Jonah. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Lara's that, like, oh no. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Jaguars of Peru. Speaking of predators. I was gonna say this is you know in the previous two games Lara would frequently come into contact with packs of wolves. Uh -huh. She's sort of used to fighting uh, really quickly, but. You know, jaguars are very quick, very agile. It's going to take a different skill set to fight them. Um. <laughs> Interesting. So she's gonna she's gonna have to take that on. Um, so yeah. So right now she's she's currently trying to find Jonah again. Uh, their plane <laughs> might have gone down. Whoa. So they've been briefly separated, but. Jonah has sort of been this ally and friend to Lara throughout the series. He's an adventurer like her. Um, he's always been a supportive character. And especially in this game, you know, when Lara is in the mindset of go, 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 go. I have to stop Trinity. I have to do anything to make sure I save the world. Jonah's sort of being like, let's stop. Let's take a deep breath and consider our options while we mm. go into this. Are people getting hurt along the way? Was there a better way we could have done this? Mm. Should you maybe not have grabbed that artifact that... <laughs> potentially start this apocalypse. Right. Um, so she's she's sort of starting to have to, to rethink about the consequences of her actions. And while she does have good intentions, is it better to maybe go about it in a different way? Huh. 
That's really cool. I, I'm glad that they're exploring that that angle uh, of Lara's story because, uh, you know, obviously she we see her um, uh, uh, evolving quite a bit from uh, from the earlier part of the, of the trilogy as far as kind of like how she's interacting with enemies mm -hmm. and how she's traversing the world. Um, but to see her also maybe starting to at least consider taking steps mm -hmm. on kind of an intellectual level or an empathetic mm -hmm. level um, is really compelling because obviously, you know, like... There can be, uh, you know, Lara does a lot of good, but there can also be <laughs> byproducts of yep. stealing artifacts. Well, so uh, this is one oh of those yeah. Jaguar encounters. So what ends up happening here is it's it's usually in a in a space that isn't just part of the regular environment. Um, so you sort of have to take a look around. So in this one, there wasn't really any trees that I could climb, but there was another encounter later on where it strongly encouraged you to use trees. Okay. Um, the Jaguar is absolutely going to move in and out and sort of Oops. stalk you and okay. come out and surprise you, so you really have to be paying attention, listening for what direction it's going to come from. Um, if you have those perception berries to eat, uh, you could potentially use those. But huh. So h how many encounters with Jaguars did you have? Um, I ended up having two. Okay. And they, they, so it seems like those are kind of like a little, those are distinct from, even though you kind of met them in kind of the, the not, it's obviously not an open world game, but kind of like in kind of the explorable spaces that the actual combat takes place in a distinct area. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, nailed them. Man. All right. Well, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is going to yeah. be coming to PS4 on September 14th. I'm so excited. I can't wait to continue on Lara's journey. Me neither. Thanks for showing me yeah, this. Thank you, Zach. Not much longer to wait. I know. All right. We'll see you next time on PlayStation Underground. See ya. PlayStation.